Today I'm at DevLink in Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm talking to the organizer of DevLink, John Keller. How are you doing? Good, David. Thank you. And uh, today is, uh, what is today, Saturday? Saturday, yes. And this is the last day of a three-day conference, but right. it's been a lot more than three days for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and before we get started, I, you've done a phenomenal job here. Thank Just you. an absolutely terrific job. Um, I've had a great time. Uh, it seems like everybody is. Appreciate it. Um, tell me what's, what's going on here. Uh, the, I'll, I'll start. Um, I know that you have the traditional conference stuff with people sitting in classrooms and listening to speakers and uh, experts from around the world have come and, and spoken in the classrooms, but this conference is actually a lot more than that. Right, so we actually we try to focus on the entire conference experience, what people normally would get at the big conferences like Tech Ed, PDC, those sort of things, versus like the Code Camp, which is really more just, just the sessions, not really having exhibitors and, and that sort of stuff. So, we, again, we try to do the whole package. So we do uh, standardized front sessions. The very first day actually was in-depth sessions. So all the sessions were three hours long. And that way people could come from, I don't know anything about WPF to I have a very good understanding of WPF. Uh, and yes, I saw a great one by Steve Andrews on uh, uh, TFS. Yeah, TFS, that's right. Duration. So we had a lot of good things about that. Um, people giving us good responses off that. Also. Uh, that's our first day. We did the first day because people are fresh then. They're ready. If we try to put that at the end of the conference, usually people are pretty drained and, and three hours is a long time. It's, it's a so tough it's thing to do at the end of a conference. So we set it up at the front, and, and that was great. That was our very first day on Thursday. And uh, then today, or yesterday, my days are all mixed yeah. up. Yesterday, uh, we kicked off the standard conference, which is uh, five five sessions across nine tracks, and. Uh, just had non-stop sessions all day long. Uh, had a good, fun baseball game to go to at Nashville Sounds. Ball game last night, Sounds 1. Yep, Sounds 1, Nashville Sounds 1. And then uh, today, again, another day of just full sessions, and we're gonna wrap it up with uh, Richard uh, and Carl doing .NET Rocks Live. I like that uh, show a lot. So that ought to be pretty pretty fun. Um, but yeah, it's and then we've also got open spaces. So we've got a special space that we put all the open spaces in. Alan Stevens steps up for us, and he runs those. Because you know he, he's really done a very good job with that. Yeah, and, I went to one them. just this afternoon with uh, I was on managed sensibility framework, which right. is a topic I've talked about a lot. But Kathleen Dollar was there. Yes, who was just an expert in that area. It's great right. to talk to her about it. And, and it's good because it allows we don't have a speaker room, so our speakers are either in open spaces yeah. or sitting in another classroom, so they're very approachable. We try and keep it approachable. Uh, versus some of the big conferences where you may never see the speaker unless they're walking by, and right. if you have something you want to ask them normally have a small window right after their session. Uh, we also don't back up speakers. So normally we say speakers talks, they have at least one session break so they can carry on a conversation past right. that. So I don't know, it's, it's more of a, I don't know, maybe that grassroots feel. Uh, but then we also have the exhibit hall for all our sponsors so people get a chance to see the new products, meet uh, potentially people that they're working with their products and that sort of stuff. Yeah, so that goes on long enough. And there's a comedian. Oh, that's right. We had Rick, I'm, just, I'm just trying to think of everything that you've done. We had Rick time. Roberts on uh, fr Thursday. Again, my days are all messed uh -huh. up. Th on Thursday, at lunch, we had a comedian come in, uh, awesome comedian, Rick Roberts, and he just he made the la crowd laugh. And he was great. It was it was a great breakup when you have those big long sessions. Uh, to have that at lunchtime to really alleviate all the stress that you may be feeling after sitting in such a long session, getting oh, yeah. so much information. I didn't even know refreshing. What was happening. I was walking by the auditorium and sat down, and all of a sudden. Yeah, he comes so up with his guitar down, yeah. and starts playing. Yeah, so it's been uh, fun so far. Yeah. Uh, so, how long have you been organizing this one? When did you actually start the '09 DevLink organization? DevLink 2009 yeah. event. Uh, the day before the DevLink 2008 event, probably. Is that right? we, so we, we actually a 12 months. I'm already. Before. Yeah, it's 12 months. I mean, I, I'm thinking about DevLink 2010 today. Wow. So, it's it's not one of those things where you can throw it together because we do a lot of different things. Absolutely, and it takes a lot of time, a lot of planning to uh, knock it knock it all out. So, uh, so now you uh, you did some things different this year. You got you added an extra day. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure what else. This is my second year in Denver. Uh, so, I, I, and I'm I'm gonna use a I'm gonna name drop here, but uh, Tim Huckabee with Internology. Uh, I don't know if you've met Tim or not. I know his name, but I don't know. But very intelligent guy, and he owns a business. And he, I was, I've just talked to him several occasions, you know. And uh, one of the things he's shared with me several times is, in a down economy, the thing he wants to do the most is invest, spend, spend, spend. Mm -hmm. Because while everybody else is holding back, you know, you're putting something in. 
And that usually pays off because when the economy comes back, you're there and you're ready to go, right? So for us, I tried to apply the same principle. And I said, okay, we've been two days in the past and all that stuff. I really want to add that additional day and just provide more information for people. And so I was like, you know, sponsorships are down. The economy's hard on everybody and all the sponsors are suffering. But I was like, we're going to invest. So we dug deep and we, we put in as much as we could to get that third day at it. Mm -hmm. And I think it's paid off. You know, we, we ended up having about 700, and, uh, close to 700 people attend. Probably, I'll just say nearly 700. I don't know the that's exact right. number. So yeah. that over over our last year's numbers, which were 450. So that's that's so huge you're growth. Time and you're also bigger in people. We right. moved to a bigger facility. Uh, you were in Murfreesboro last year. Right. And Actually, we returned to this facility. We oh, I didn't know. I wasn't yeah. at the first one. We were at the Lipscomb the first two okay. years, uh, and last year was Murfreesboro because of a scheduling issue we had. Mm -hmm. So this worked out really well for us to come back. Okay. So, uh, and I'll tell you, even though I'm not sure if this was a, a goal of it, but one of the effects of going to a three-day concert, you know, to a three-day conference, is that uh, the attendees have more time to develop relationships. Yes. This is the only time that I'll see a lot of these people, right. maybe until next year, definitely, because I live right. way up in Michigan. Right. Um, so, uh, so you not only get more contact, but you get more contact with these people. And it's not just a hallway conversation here or there. Right. You should spend three days with them. Well, the conference is called DevLink, right? There you go. So, yeah. it's, it's so this isn't an accident, you're saying? It's, an, it's intended to build peer-to-peer -peer relationships. Absolutely. And as a matter of fact, you were at lunch yesterday, so you heard me tell everybody, or Thursday, you heard me tell everybody, it's like, this is not about just learning a new technology or learning about how to do something new. It's about meeting people. Mm -hmm. So I said, if you haven't met somebody, turn to your left, turn to your right, introduce yourself. And what was nice is that night, uh, I, or the next day I think it was, at some point in this conference, but I've, lo I've lost track of what's <laughs> gone on when. Evening of night but I remember asking uh, everybody later that day, to say, how many people have met somebody new? And almost the entire crowd raised their hand. So oh, I'm surprised there's anybody here that hasn't met I, somebody. I was, really, I was really impressed with that. But it is a community event. I mean, this is... It's, it's not PDC, but again, we're not really a code camp. We, we fall in a, a unique location when it comes sure. to conferences. So uh, You're not as expensive as PDC either. Yeah, that's true. By order on magnitude. <laughs> <laughs> or any other event. <laughs> not, not to say PDC is, is not worth what, what they're pro uh, providing. I haven't been, so I can't say it. But I just, it, no, I just PDC's awesome. Out. I'll say <laughs> 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 I'll answer right. it. But uh, yeah, it's one of those things. Yeah, we try and reach the, the common developer. Uh, the key reason that we have such a low cost is it's intended to reach people that can't afford $1,500, $3,000 to go to a conference, which is most everybody, unless their company is investing in it. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, there's a lot of employers out there that aren't willing to invest in someone growing themselves. Right? Right. They sure. want to see benefit to the company, but for some reason they can't see past that, well, if I invest $100, which is Devlin's cost, $100 in you, I'm going to get this much in return. They don't, they for some reason say, well, I don't want to put that investment into you. That's crazy because I invested my own $100. And a lot of people and, do. Uh, I've got way more than that out of it. Right. Uh, so, not to put any pressure on you, but uh, next year, uh, <laughs> will it be similar to this? Are you have some new ideas? You want to share with us? Uh, well, I'll say this. Uh, we always look at the feedback that comes back. So, I can't tell you anything specific that we'll do next year okay. because. Literally every every conference survey that comes in, every every comment that somebody writes down, we read them all, mm -hmm. everyone, and we make decisions based off that. Okay. So, uh, it's it's I can't really say because there's a lot of things that are churning around in my head. Mm -hmm. It's like, wouldn't it be great to do this? Wouldn't it be great to do this? But there's a few things that come into play there, right? First, we look at feedback and say, what are people telling us? Did they like this? Did they like this? What did they not like? Uh, and all that. We take all those suggestions in and try and pick what's best because it's a community event. It's intended to make people happy and see some benefit from it. But more importantly, it's uh, money. So, you know, we've got to raise money from sponsors. Uh, I made a pledge last year to all the attendees. I said, if DevLink ever goes over $100, we just won't hold it. Mm -hmm. So, if we don't charge more than $100 per attendee, uh, period. Okay. And, and, and that's, just, that's just my own personal rule. Right. And I'll tell you where the price came from if you want me to sure. take up some time. So yeah. this is my own personal philosophy. And, and most people who ask me, why is it 50 in the past and why is it 100 now? Uh, a good technical book is about 50 bucks, right? Oh, there you go. 
And I'm like, okay, would I spend 50 bucks to go to a one-day event versus buying a book? Because I'm not going to get as much technical benefit out of the book as I am the event. And I would say probably uh, if I'm paying 50 bucks for a book or an event, I'm going to go to the event because I'm going to get a broader spectrum, yep. more topics, more information, that sort of stuff. And okay, so let's say now let's go to $100. Is a two or three day event worth a hundred dollars? Well, I think yes. I think it's exponentially more yeah. valuable. Uh, some people would argue a hundred dollars is is worth a day. I don't know. Personally, I would not spend a hundred dollars to go to a one day event because I don't think it's. I don't think I'm going to get as much as if I bought two technical books. I'm going to get a pretty good understanding of the technology mm -hmm. versus going to an event for one day. I don't think that's going to equal two good books. And I say two good books because obviously sure there's, there's leverage. But anyway, that's where I came up with it. I'm like, you know, I'm going to go based off what I can get out of a book versus what I'm going to get out of an event okay. and balance it like that. Well, that's fair. I mean, that's really the, the finite amount of money to spend on your uh, training. Yes. And uh, there are a lot of ways to do that. And yep. so one of your competitions, I guess, would be attending the book. Right. If I'm down on my 50 bucks of that budget. Right. Um, so will. The, Will there definitely will there definitely be a dev link? <laughs> well, yes or no, sir. <laughs> on the <this> show, <laughs> more than likely there will be a dev link 2010. Uh, we'll see. This year again, it was very tough financially, so it's it all boils down to sponsorships. Any anybody who, that may be a sponsor watching your show is more than welcome to contact us. <laughs> I really encourage that. All we you rich people, that. yeah, all the rich people. <laughs> anybody who's Big rich, companies. independently wealthy, and like to throw some money. For DevLink, we'd love to see you. So, but yeah, we we want to we want to put it on. I mean, it, right. it really benefits a lot of people. So. All right. And where can people find more information about it? Uh, websites uh, DevLink.net, www.devlink.net. That's D-E-V-L-I-N-K.net. All right. And uh, I've said that before. To... If you can, I actually had to kind of rehearse. <laughs> uh, how about John Keller? Any place you have a presence on the web? Yeah, but I mean, if you go to DevLink, that's that's more than enough. That's where you put all your time. Yeah. I mean, you can go to you can go to my blog. It's just johnkeller.com. Okay. John Keller with an A. J O H N K E L A R. Sounds like you're apologizing for that. Yes. Excited to get the other one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. And then John Keller. Okay. It's a whole team that puts this on. It's not just me. So. Okay. Uh, John, thanks a lot. Thank I you. Really appreciate. Right, it. I appreciate, appreciate the it. conference. I appreciate you sitting down here. Thank you for I'm coming. Looking forward man. to the .NET Rock Show tonight. Yes, that'll be <laughs> awesome. They're gonna do all the prizes and stuff. Too. All right. DevLink and uh, learn about some great technology and meet some awesome friends.